welcome back. We're going to do our phonics paper. Today's paper should be page 271 and 272. It's got a little alligator down at the bottom corner and we're talking about abbreviations. We have earlier this year talked about what abbreviations are. Abbreviations, if you can follow along with me, do you see on the top where the little bone is? It says remember. An abbreviation is a short way to write a longer word. So like instead of writing doctor, the full word doctor, you would write capital D R period, right? Um, you can use abbreviations for like street, for drive, those kind of words, for the months of the year and the days of the week, all of those for Mrs. and Mr. It's when you have a longer word and you abbreviate it to make it shorter, okay? Instead of writing the whole thing. There are lots of words that have abbreviations. So we're gonna jump right in to share the screen and we'll do our paper together. Are you ready? Of course you are, you guys are always ready. All right, abbreviations. And remember, an abbreviation usually ends with a period and it's capital, okay? So, well, sometimes I should say, not always, but sometimes. So like if we're talking about doctor, Mrs., Mr., if it's a day of the week, those are the proper nouns, those are the ones that are gonna be capitalized, okay? All right, let's draw lines to match the abbreviations with the words. Minute, how would you abbreviate minute? Hmm, which one makes sense? If you guessed M-I-N, you're exactly right. Good job, friends. What about pint? Hmm, how would you write pint? P-T, period. What about hour? H-R, period. What about gallon? If you have a gallon of milk, it's gal. And then do you see how they have a period at the end? Yes. What about pound? Mm. So pound is going to look very different. Most of the abbreviations here make sense. Like if you look at gallon, it's the first three letters. If you look at minute, it's the first three letters and then they put a period. But something like pound, it's two letters that aren't even in the word pound. Okay, a pound is LB. It's right next to it. You see it there? Pound. And what about, let's see, what other word do I see? Yard. This one does make sense. Yard is YD and an ounce. Ounce also kind of doesn't, but you see the O in it. So it's OZ. Almost looks like Oz, but that's the abbreviation for ounce. Good job, guys. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Write the abbreviation for the words. If there is no abbreviation, if, ugh, sorry, if there is no abbreviation, write the full word. October, is there an abbreviation for October that you can think of? Oct, right? And since it's a month of the year, it's a capital O. Oct, very good. What about for April? Hmm, you might think it's capital, well, we know it's a capital for sure. You might think it's APR, but guess what? This is an, one of those months of the year that does not have an abbreviation since it's sh such a short word. So you're gonna write the whole word April. What about February? The month of February is capital F E B. Nice, I know you remember that one. What about for Sunday? Remember before we went to our mobile learning system, we were copying these down and writing them <clears throat> properly and even the abbreviations during our seat work time, right? Hopefully you still remember Sunday turns into sun. And let's see, what about June? Does June have an abbreviation? If you remember correctly, it does not. It's one of those that does not have an abbreviation. So you write out the whole word. What about December? That's a very long word. Yes, it does. Don't forget to capitalize. D-E-C, period. And August, the first three letters, and it's capital. <clears throat> Very nice. And Thursday. This one's kind of a longer. Usually the abbreviations are like three letters, but this one's going to be much longer. Capital T and it's thurs. Nice. All right. Let's scroll on down. Listen to your teacher and follow the directions. So I'm going to read to you some sentences and you have to bubble in the correct word. Are you ready? You have to put your listening ears on. Okay, everybody try them on. All right. 
you're going to color the correct word. Use a green crayon to mark the circle next to the word that belongs in the sentence. But listen, if you don't have a green crayon, you could just do your pencils fine, okay? All right. Our new puppy dragged one of my blanks under the bed and chewed it. What makes sense? What would a new puppy drag under a bed and chew on it? Would it be a computer? No. A cloud? Probably not. A rake? A star? No. Or a slipper? Yeah, slipper. And actually, I'm going to change the color on that since it asked us to do green for that. All right, grab your orange crayon, and I'll change mine. And you're going to color for this one. Dad put his new blank on the desk in his office. What would dad put? What makes more sense for dad to put on the desk in his office? A cloud? No. Star? A moose? Probably a moose. That makes sense, right? No. Oh, did you say computer, Michael? Yes, a computer. Bubble that in. Okay, the next one says get your blue crayon. I'm sorry, friends. I didn't see that you were going to need different colors, so I didn't warn you with enough time. So if you need to pause it really quick, you can pause the video and go grab your colors and grab those so you can join me with this, okay? All right, so use your blue crayon for this sentence. In science, we learn that the sun is really a blank that shines on the earth. What is the sun? Is it a cloud, a moose, a rake, or a star? <gasps> we talked about this, remember? Yes, it's a star. Color it in with your blue crayon. Good job. All right, and the red one. This is the last one. The first time I saw a blank in the mountains, I could not believe it was so big. What would you see in the mountains? Hmm. <gasps> I just noticed I did something. Oh my goodness. Was that, what, was that what I heard you telling me? That I made a mistake and I colored the wrong one? Well, you're correct. So sorry, friends. The sun is a star. Okay, now let me change it back to red. Okay, what did I see in the mountains? And it was so big in real life. A cloud? A rake or a moose? What do you think, Cynthia? Did you say moose? You're exactly correct. A moose, color it in. All right, favorite part of the day, dictation. Are you ready, Nico? Okay, you're gonna write the contractions for the words that I say, are you ready? It's been, you might be a little bit rusty with these. Maybe mom and dad can help you with thinking of what it is, or maybe you just get it. Maybe you can think of it. I'll be very impressed if you can think of it right off the top. Write the contraction for the word he is. Remember, a contraction has an apostrophe at the top, and it's where you take away a letter to make the word shorter, and the apostrophe goes wherever you remove that letter. So he, I'll do the first one with you. He is will become he's. He's. You see that we took away the I and is, and we put the apostrophe there. All right, the next one, right next to it, right here. I am. What would I am be if we're trying to make it shorter? I am. Is that what you wrote? Good job. And the next one, didn't. Oh, I just gave you the answer. I was supposed to say the two words. Oh, come on, you guys. I was supposed to say did not, but actually I said didn't, and I just gave you an answer. Come on. Did not turns into didn't. Nice. Good thinking. I know you knew that one anyway. So I guess I really didn't give you an answer. All right, let's go down to the bottom. Has not. What would has not become if I put has and not together? Hasn't. Did you guess hasn't, Timmy? You got it right. How do you write it? Where does the apostrophe go? Well, we take out the O. There we go. Hasn't. What about it is? It is well. It is done. It's. And I will becomes what? I'll. Very good. All right, I'm going to flip it over. You do the same. All right, we're going to review using a before a word that begins with a consonant and an before a word that begins with a vowel sound. Let's read the paragraph and do it together. 
If you like water and warm weather, you would enjoy Everglades National Park in Florida. Have you guys noticed that we're talking a lot about the different national parks across America? I have, and it's a really, it's kind of a tongue twister for me because some of these names for the national parks are really long. Blank Outdoor Adventure is waiting for visitors who want one. A Outdoor Adventure or an Outdoor Adventure? What do you think? If you said N, you're right. An Outdoor Adventure. Oh, and if you caught that, you have to capitalize the A. Good job, an Outdoor Adventure, because it's right at the beginning of a sentence. All right, for a exciting trip, try camping on a beach, or for an exciting trip, try camping on the beach. Well, exciting starts with a vowel, so it's A-N for an exciting trip. You might see a manatee or an manatee. A manatee or even a alligator or an alligator. An alligator, good job. A hike is always good exercise. Don't forget to capitalize. Some hikers like to stay on a trail or n trail. A trail while others enjoy slogging. Slogging is hiking through a wet sloth or marsh. Other visitors like an quieter activity like bird watching or a quieter activity like bird watching. Have you guys ever gone bird watching? I've never done it, but I've heard it's pretty, pretty fun times. You have to stay really quiet so you don't scare the birds and you get to use cool binoculars. All right, take your camera because you might see an eagle, an ibis, or even a rose eat where am I? Spoonbill. That's a fun name for a bird. I don't even know what that looks like. I'll we'll have to look it up after this. You might enjoy a boat tour, a canoe trip, or even a bike ride. When you are tired, stop at a visitor center and relax as you learn more about Everglades National Park. Oh my goodness, I think I need a cup of water now. That was so many words to say and read all at once. All right, guys, I hope you stayed with me and you got all that done. Oh, this one's pretty easy. All you need to do is circle yes or no. We're gonna read the group of words and you gotta let me know if it's a complete sentence, yes, or if it's not, no. Remember, a complete sentence completes a thought. That means you don't have any questions afterwards. So like if I say the balloon, period, is that a complete sentence? No, not really, because I still have questions. Well, what about the balloon? What are you trying to tell me about the balloon? Tell me, right? Now, if I said the balloon popped, does that make sense? Is that a complete thought? Yes, it is. That's a better sentence that completes the thought. I have no more questions. Oh, I know what happened to the balloon. Well, it popped. Okay. So if it completes the thought and it makes sense, we're going to circle, yes, it's a complete sentence. If it does not make sense, we're going to circle, no, it's not. You ready? All right, let's read them together. Did you see that pink bird? Hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Let's go ahead and circle. Yes. A rosy spoonbill might look like a flamingo to some people, but it is not. Does that give us enough information? Yes, that's a complete thought. Next, you ready? Begin, a flat spoon-shaped bill. Hmm, well, what about the flat spoon-shaped bill? I have questions. What, what are they trying to tell us? I don't understand. That is not a complete sen sentence. No siree. Let's read the next one. Sweeps its bill through the water to find small fish. Well, did they even give us a subject there? I have a question. Well, what are they talking about? What sweeps its bill through the water to find small fish? Nope, sorry. Eh, not a complete thought, not a complete sentence. Last one, ready? Look for these pretty pink birds in Everglades National Park. Does that make sense? What are we talking about? Pink birds? Yep complete thoughts. 
Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me to do this phonics paper. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy spending time with you. I love that I get to come into your home and be invited to be with you every single day. Okay, guys, have a wonderful rest of the day. I love you so, so much. Mwah.